Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's game up on the tabletop is Cards vs. Gravity Pro Edition by Big Potato Games. This is a two-day player game that takes probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes to play. And in this game, your objective is to balance cards as best as you can on a platform. You're going to get a deck of cards randomly drawn from this deck here, and you're going to be placing them one at a time, kind of like Jenga or any of those other type of dexterity type card games, up until the point where if the stack falls or the tower falls, you're out of the game. Otherwise, if cards fall, you're going to be adding those cards to your deck. And your objective is to empty your deck of cards and have somebody else lose their deck. If you're able to basically empty out, you will survive. And if you drop the deck, then you are out. We'll talk about how to set up the game, how to play the game, and of course, my review. It's a pretty simple game, but I think you'll get a kick out of this one. So I've already reviewed the original Cards vs. Gravity game. This is very similar in almost every way, but there is some additional content to this game. Um, first of all, you're going to be getting this bag here, which will hold the entire game. You can take it anywhere you want, put it in your purse or your pocket, and then you can play at any party that you would like to. Additionally, there's going to be additional colored cards for more players, and there are some unique cards to the game, like the Gravity Bender card and the Gravity Buster card. They're either thicker or uh, less thick that will change how gravity functions in the game. Setting the game up is simple. You will take your uh, closest nondescript bottle with no label and you will place it on the table. You will then take this rubber portion and stick it into the hole at the top of the bottle. And you will take this platform and make sure you place the white dot right in the center of the bottle. So you should have a bottle with a little platform. Then you're going to take this deck of cards, your cards versus gravity deck. You'll shuffle this deck up and then you're going to deal one of each of these cards to each player and then you will rinse and repeat until the entire deck has been emptied so that each player is going to have a number of cards that is mostly balanced depending on the number of players and everybody should have their own unique deck of their cards versus gravity. Um, and how you were going to work this is once everybody has their deck of cards, you'll choose a player who goes first. And my recommendation is the player who got dealt the most cards or one of the players who got dealt the most cards. When it is that player's turn, they will take the top card of their deck and they will place it on the gravity well. They'll take the card and place it in the color or symbol, if you have some color issues, of their uh, of the specific card's type. And in this case here, the triangle and or the blue card is going to go into the blue portion of the well. The gravity well here has four colors, blue, yellow, green, and red. In which case, you'll place your blue card on the blue portion of the wheel. There's a little slot that it will stick in. If you place the card and nothing happens, you pass, just like in Jenga. The next player will take their turn and they will stick a card on their side. And so on and so forth. If it's the same color, you have to make sure that you stick it in one of the cards of that color. So if in this case I have a yellow and already placed a yellow, I can go ahead and place it like that. And now as you can see, more cards against gravity. And then finally the last player will take a card and place it in. And you will simply repeat and rinse and repeat this process. If your deck empties, you're out of the game and you're good. If a number of cards fall, then you're gonna pick up all of those cards that fall. Let's say that these cards fall and it's the next player's turn. They're gonna go ahead and place that under their deck for even more cards against gravity. And if the entire thing falls over, then the game is over and you lose. So there can be multiple winners and one loser in this game. And that's the basic idea of cards versus gravity. We'll talk about the, um, I mean, that's pretty much the setup and how to play. It's a very simple game. We'll talk about all the additional pro aspects to the game and what I think about it now. So Cards vs. Gravity is a dexterity card stacking game. You're going to be utilizing a platform and on your turn placing a card on one of the four spaces. There are some unique aspects to the game. So the basics what I told you about already was that there is a blue, there's a yellow, a green, and a red card. And these four cards here make up the base of Cards vs. Gravity. But there's also additional cards in the game. Like for instance, there are the Gravity Bender and Buster cards as well as Wild cards. Wild cards can go anywhere as long as it fits in a spot and it can be placed in any of the cards. And so you can utilize that as kind of a place all. Whereas the Gravity Buster and Bender are also wild, meaning that they can be put in any of the areas. They are unique cards. The Gravity Buster card actually has a lot of weight to it. It's basically a double card. Whereas the Bender card has almost no weight whatsoever and it's a pretty easy card to place. 
it is a very light card. It's a very easy card to play, so it's very unlikely to have something fall. However, putting cards on the vendor is challenging and very likely to cause you to tip. And so there's a little bit of added unique aspects to the game. Choosing to place the vendor or buster in certain areas that either strengthen or weaken certain portions of the gravity well will change the game completely. As you're placing cards, you're going to slowly start to realize that the more cards that get on here, the more challenging it is to place additional ones. And it's very, very unlikely that you're going to be able to control the way in which the cards weigh each, each other down based on what your deck stacks look like and how likely it is you are to stack the ca cards consistently. This is a fun dexterity based card game that's all about card placement and kind of de debating on where the weight ratio needs to go and what's the best way to either mess up your opponents or set you up for your next turn and a lot of that like type of Jenga style thinking or don't break the ice uh, comes in. The additional pro aspects to the game, the nice duffel bag, which basically is a bag and tag, a type of carrying case, the additional gravity buster and bender, as well as additional cards to play with more players, is an excellent addition for the game. This is one of those games where you're either going to love it or not care so much about it. It's a dexterity-based game. If you don't like playing games like Jenga, this is not really going to change your mind on these type of games because it still plays in those typical like high tension filled games. It also has kind of a player elimination aspect if you want or you can house rule pretty much anything with cards versus gravity which is nice. Typically I just start a new game when the tower gets knocked over uh, but you can if you want player eliminate. Those cards will get me dividend up to other players and then you continue playing the game in that way. Um, the gravity buster and bender are nice additions to the game. Even more cards is always nice for games like these and it changes the style of play. So the additional pro aspect to it is definitely something I would personally pick up. I've already reviewed this other base game, which is basically the same game. So the reason I'm making this video is because if I had to choose between the two, I would just take the pro edition. This just gives you more content. It's not any more complex or, or anything like that as far, as far as the base game goes. As long as you can afford it and you're looking for a game like this, this is definitely the one to pick up of the two. Do you like stacking games, dexterity games, and games that are really unique? This is actually a very unique game in comparison to a lot of the other dexterity type games that you uh, would normally play because of the weighing option and how this kind of uh, affects the game board and the locations you can place on. And it feels like you can't place them, but as you start to get this tower bigger and bigger, it actually feels a lot of, it's, it's actually a lot of fun and very unique. Uh, one minor gripe, which I think I had with the base game as well, is having to have your own bottle that fits in with this plastic insert here is kind of annoying. If you don't have one, having to go out and buy one is annoying. And the fact that there's no spot to put it in the box is also kind of annoying. I kind of wish they actually had this bag so that it could fit a bottle as well as the game. That would be kind of nice. Or even if the Pro Edition actually gave you a bottle that you could use, it kind of like, this is the best type of bottle to use. Here it is. Or maybe even something that was like hardcore or heavy. I have a little plastic bottle here and it's full of water too to weigh it down because I, I noticed when I first started trying to play the game and not having it weighed down it was very challenging and it was tipping over so there is a certain weight ratio and bottle size that you need to play this game. Okay that's my really only gripe is the bottle as you've noticed otherwise this game is an excellent dexterity family party style game and I really really enjoyed it. I prefer this game over games like Jenga. It's faster, it's more intense and the games are quicker and you can rinse and repeat and there's way less setup. When all these cards simply fall then all you have to do is you put the dang thing back on the top, you take the rest of these cards here, and then you shuffle the deck up and you rinse and repeat. You just play the game again. You don't have to go through the whole process of the Jenga board having to put all the pieces back. And I have a very big Jenga board, so I know what I'm talking about. But there, I'm ready to play the game again and somebody can just divvy these cards out. Bam, I've got my three decks and then start playing more cards versus gravity. Great, the same aspect of a lot of other dexterities with less setup and only one major requirement, you can sign me up for this one. This is an excellent game. Pick this one up over the basic game. Thank you guys for watching with our Unfiltered Gamer board game review for our kind of mini review of Cards vs. Gravity Pro Edition, but I wanted to show you guys just so you'd be aware that you can actually pick up the nicer quality version of this game. Not that the previous one wasn't nice, but I just like all the additional little components and additives and stuff like that. And the fact that you can just kind of carry this on and bring it to any party and most parties 
parties are gonna have some type of bottle that you can use and even clip it to your waistband and you're set to go for Cards Against Gravity or Cards versus Gravity. Uh, you can also check out our website on filtergamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, kicks, or listen more. And of course, if you've seen more than one of our videos, you like these type of videos and you're interested, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification if you wanna see more videos just like this one, but at least subscribe. It lets us know that we are creating content that you are enjoying and that you're gonna be watching more of and we do greatly greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to versing gravity against you next time.